So that's how I conquered Syria, and that's why I, Pompey, am the coolest general in Roman history. Sir, have you heard what Caesar did? No, I can't say I have. But it can't be as cool as what I've done, though. He conquered Gaul. Crap. So, the Roman Civil War was a conflict that lasted around four years from 49 BC till 45 BC. The conflict was fought between two of Rome's most powerful generals, being Pompey and Julius Caesar. So, before we get into this, I have a disclaimer for all you folks watching at home. This was not first nor the last Roman Civil War. This was just the most well-known civil war in Roman history, and by decree of Chip Chicken himself, the coolest. Alright, cool. Now that that's out of the way, let's give a little bit of background on how this whole thing started. So to begin, we have Pompey, who was basically the cool kid of Rome at the time. He was a major Roman general, and he had conquered places like Syria and the Levant for Rome. Then we have Caesar, who was also a major Roman general, who conquered Gaul, Britain, and Spain for Rome. Anyway, both Pompey and Caesar tried to play nice with each other originally. They both got turns being consuls, they both got triumphs, and Caesar even let Pompey marry his daughter. But after a while, people started becoming scared of both of them. Probably because both had big scary armies that backed them and they both had major political ambitions, but hey, who's to say that was the reasoning? Maybe they just made really bad tacos. Some people wanted this to end peacefully, so they talked about peacefully disarming the both of them. But, oh wait, Caesar just crossed the Rubicon with his army, causing Pompey to ditch Rome and go over to Greece, taking the government with him. But wait, plot twist. Caesar followed Pompey to Greece, where they fought several decisive battles, and where in the majority of them, Caesar won. Eventually, Pompey decided to get out of Greece and went to the 15-year-old Egyptian pharaoh Ptolemy for help. But wait, new plot twist. Ptolemy had Pompey assassinated and decapitated so he could become allies with Caesar. Which, in all honesty, is pretty ballsy for a ninth grader. Even though Ptolemy did it to gain favor with him, Caesar reportedly was appalled and started crying when Pompey's head was gifted to him. But you know, I think this quote I just made up could have helped Caesar out that day. You can never let the decapitated head of an old friend get in the way of a good old civil war. Anyway, after that, Caesar went around cleaning up armies still loyal to Pompey, did some things in politics, invented a calendar, and got assassinated. Yep, 